Hello, everybody. Welcome to the Golden Goal Show. I am absolutely excited and just, I, honestly, I don't have words right now because my team won the Champions League final, Chelsea FC. Oh, I'm sorry. I first need to introduce my friend. Welcome to the Golden Goal Show, my guest, my friend, Xander. How are you doing today, my sir? My sir? I'm doing great. How about you? Sounds like it can't get much better for you right now. Honestly, it cannot get much better for me right now. It's it's, it's just like, I'm, I'm happy. I'm in awe. I'm like I still surprised they. I'm not surprised they won, but I'm like you know I'm in awe that they won. So it's 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 a dream. It's a dream come true. I'm glad you're happy. Yeah, thank you, thank you. I I appreciate you appreciating my happiness. So it's great. We watched the game together. What 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 do you think of the game? Let let me go to the first to the to the game. Uh, I think it. Could have been worse if Werner was better. <laughs> oh my gosh! Yeah, yeah, I, I, I fully agree with that. He had two, no, three sitters he could have made easily. I, I just really hope he gets better next year. I can only hope so because ah, that finishing would just yikes. So, um, honestly, City they lined up with a weird formation. I don't. They put. Kevin De Bruyne up top and forward. I don't get that. They could have put Aguero or like even Foden up there. I don't. I don't know what I, he they did. Honestly, Pep he overdid the tactics again. Okay. It's it just and then Kai Havertz. Oh, can we just talk about that goal? Oh, beautiful. Mason Mount played it in a, such a nice third ball, and Kai Havertz just did the skipped over the keeper and just laid it in. Oh my gosh, it was just like the Fernando Torres goal against Barcelona in 2012. So. That's 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 just hilarious that it happened. Oh my gosh. Uh who do you think like was your like man of the match? Obviously Angola Conte won the man of the match, but who who do you think like was like your favorite player during the game? Um I don't know. It's Reese James did pretty good. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. He was good in goal, but I don't know how much he really got challenged. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, so it says like uh they shot like seven on goal right here in the team stats no seven shots but only one went on goal so it was really like a tactical game so like the managers are really trying like getting hounded in on like you know trying to see where the other team's weaknesses were and trying to penetrate through that so it was like for me like yeah reese james did amazing he like had so many stoppages against uh sterling over there sterling was in his pocket the whole game i i hate to say it but it's true and 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 Golo Conte, of course, like he, he deserves like this tournament, honestly, like play of yeah. the tournament because he was like out getting everybody with the ball, and then when he gets that ball, he goes straight forward and like plays in someone. So mm-hmm. it was oh my gosh, this was like a Champions League I, w- I will never forget. Probably, <laughs> obviously, I'm a Chelsea fan, a little biased, but it's whatever. So, who do you think next year has like a good chance to win the Champions League? Um. Honestly, it wouldn't surprise me to see Man City back there, especially if they're rumored to be getting good upgrades. Yeah, I mean, I heard they're getting Holland, but then again, yeah. Holland, he okay. might go to Chelsea, actually. <laughs> yeah, I, see. I mean, they just won the Champions League. I wouldn't, I wouldn't be, I mean, honestly, a lot of teams are going to be upgraded now, especially with Liverpool. They're going to be title contenders, too, because they have Van Dyke coming back, right? Yeah, if they can stay healthy, that'll be the main thing. And they have also Konote. They just got Konote. I forgot to say it's Konote from uh, RB Leipzig, too. Yep. So that's going to be Great. such an upgrade to their defense. Oh, my gosh. Oh, okay. Well, Chelsea has won the Champions League final. <laughs> I'm crying, but it's fine. Okay, let's go on to – do you have anything else to say about this game? Or yeah. uh, No, I don't think so. All right, cool. Let's go to the Europa League final. Um. This game I watched, it was, oh my, it was mad. Absolutely bonkers. Um, I, I, honestly, this is probably like one of the, the, like this penalty shootout I watched. And it was probably, I watched this like probably three times the highlights on YouTube or so. It was, it, it was making me sweat, honestly. This, this, this game was making me sweat because it was just stressful as hell to watch this whole game. Like each team had like, it was kind of like the, I wouldn't say it's like the, Champions League final types of thing. I mean, it is actually because like the shots on target. If you looked back, like the twelve mm-hmm. shots on target and fourteen shots on target, and over here it's like seven and eight, and there's only one shot on target and two shots on target, and over here one shot and two shots on target. So 
it's kind of it was kind of close, but this this game was like a bit more intense. So, yeah. uh, and then when we get to the penalties, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, it was. Do you think like the goalies were bad in that case, or were just the penalty takers like really good? Uh, I think there was a couple that they kind of wish they had back, but I think for the most part, it was really good penalties. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and the, the final, the final goal scored by the actual keeper, Ruli, in goal, and David De Gea. Oh my gosh! Oh my! I I just can't believe it with that honestly. Um, Speaking of David De Gea, let me just like jump through this really fast. Um, football memes of the week brought to you by Troll Football. Um, Xander, uh, you might enjoy. Oh wait, this is gonna be kind of hard to show. Okay, you know what? First, let's talk about honestly. Well, Conte, I'll show this one. <laughs> During the whole game, he had them by a leash. Like you gotta be like he like when they got the ball, Conte was just running towards them and just like absolutely destroyed them. So, Terry Crews. Taking well, it out like Conte, yeah. De Bruyne definitely got destroyed. So, in that yeah, case. he poor poor De Bruyne. Oh my gosh, he he looked like he just got like knocked out of it by Floyd Mayweather or something like that. Yeah. Poor guy. Was it intentional? Was it not intentional? We ne- we'll never know. <laughs> Rudiger did apologize on Twitter, but it, it looked intentional. But I don't think he meant to hurt him that much. I'm sure. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, yeah. Okay. So yeah, speaking of David De Gea. Look at this meme. <laughs> he tweeted this back in fourteen, in 2014 when he joined. They shall not pass. <laughs> so what about all 11 of them, one by one? Uh, oh, no. That's, that's, just, that's, just, that's, that's just mean right there. <laughs> He's yeah. so dirty. Uh, and um, uh, Kampo, he won the man of the match. Honestly, like if you, if you watch the back of the highlights again, this guy was all over the pitch. Distributing the ball, doing defensive work, he he was, he he was just good. He was like basically, I don't want to say he was compared to Conte because Conte just like sensational, <laughs> but he showed some slight bits of like Conte, like where he like went back and like tracked back for the ball and got the ball and then you know passed it to other people. So you know it was it was it was a good game. It was a good game, and the penalty shootouts just were intense as heck. So honestly, yeah. I I couldn't say anything worse about it. Okay, let me go back to the Champions League final. So. In your opinion, Xander, my friend, mm-hmm. who do you think's gonna win the Ballon d'Or? Mm-hmm. Let me let me give you some choices at least first. So okay. either Robert Lewandowski scored forty one goals in Bundesliga, yeah. 80, Messi scored thirty goals in La Liga, or Cristiano Ronaldo scoring twenty nine goals, or Kevin De Bruyne with the amazing season he had also, and with Ruben Diaz, who is a defensive like amazing. Mm-hmm. And he did a, he just did amazing for Man City basically help them win the league. Who do you think deserves it the most out of all of them? Probably it also, Lewandowski, wasn't it the record for goals in the yeah. league this year too? Lewandowski? Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. and yeah. also like um this is like I we'll talk we'll come back and talk about this like another time during the like in the future because the Euros are coming up in Copa America so the these stars will shine during definitely and this it, it will affect the outcome of the Blonde d'Or. So, say France wins it. Do you think N'Golo Kante has, like, possibility of getting the Blonde d'Or? Uh, I don't think he's a favorite, but, yeah, if he keeps it up, I'd definitely say it's a possibility. Yeah. And uh, I don't want to – I mean, Lewandowski, he – like, they cut out the Blonde d'Or last year because – I don't know why. Maybe because Messi and Ronaldo didn't have enough votes and they were like, oh, we want them because they're always the favorites. But mm-hmm. – Lewandowski deserved it last year, but this year he just he broke the record. But then again, Bayern Munich did not go that far in the Champions League. But Lewandowski is just like another level of like. Yeah. But, and I don't think it, it'll affect really Poland. He goes. He plays for the team Poland. I don't know if they'll get that far in the Euro. So, mm-hmm. we will see. I don't know. And Messi also with in the Copa America. I, I I don't know. It it could happen. Anything could happen. Honestly. So. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well. That was this segment of the show. Thank you guys for watching the Golden Goal Show. Xander, do you have anything to say to the football fans out there? Um, I hope you can all find happiness in the way that I found it this past week. Uh, well, thank you guys for watching. And this has been the Golden Goal Show. Like, subscribe, and share it, please. And this has been the Golden I said that again. The Golden Goal Show and One Love Football. Right, Xander? One Love Football? Oh, yeah.
Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, bye-bye. <laughs>